who don't have a right to a lawyer. And that's why I'm so excited that the president did that, and I am even more excited that the president established the White House uh, Legal Aid Interagency Roundtable, and I'm proud that we're a member. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that we have uh, our DOL rep here. I think she's here. I thought I saw Ariel. There, oh, there he is. Okay. And um, Karen Lash, I know I saw right over here, uh, who's the director of it. Because you know what? Here, here's the bottom line. And here's what I will lead you with. You know, I met a guy named Randy Lewis. Randy is the CEO, or was a senior leader at Walgreens. And Randy is the father of a son with a disability. And the privilege of raising that son with a disability taught him a lot about life and about leadership. And what it taught him about life was that in the context of how we treat people with disabilities, we all too frequently focus on the first three letters of that word and not enough on the last seven. And so what Randy did was he singularly transformed the business model of Walgreens. And so I went and visited one of their distribution centers a couple of years back in uh, Connecticut. And 40% of the employees at that distribution center are people with disabilities, working side by side the rest of the workforce. And it is one of the most productive distribution centers in the country for Walgreens. And what he said to me really resonates with me. He said, you know, Tom, you know, you're in the government and I'm out in the private sector. And uh, we play different instruments, but we are in the same orchestra. You know, everybody in this room may play a different instrument. You might be a John Roman from a private firm. You might be Martha from the world of everywhere. You might be somebody else from academia. You might be someone else from corporate America. You might be someone else from the feds or state or local government. But we are all playing the same instrument. We're in the same orchestra. And that orchestra is the orchestra of opportunity. And what you have done, Martha, through your work you're doing now and through every single chapter of your life is you've not only helped thousands and thousands of people, but in so doing, you have helped to construct many, many musicians in that orchestra. And for all the people who are running out of time in this country, and there are so many, I see them in my job day in and day out. The person who just got out of jail and has game, but no one will let him in the door. The person who is an immigrant and no one will let them in the door. They need more musicians in this orchestra. You are building that orchestra. You are the conductor of that orchestra. And it gives me great pride to call you a friend and a mentor. And it gives me even greater pride to introduce Martha Bergmark. Yeah.